so artistic genius or con artist? This is such a crazy story. A museum in Denmark says they paid an artist $84,000 for an art exhibit. Well, he didn't really deliver. Here's what happened. This is what the museum was given, okay? Two blank frames. And then he titled it, Take the Money and Run. The museum says they commissioned the artist to recreate two of his older pieces and expected the artist to send them back two picture frames containing the cash they had given him. The artist says the piece is a representation of the museum's exhibit and a protest to miserable working conditions. The museum is now demanding their money back. Wow. What? I don't like that at all. What I don't think, you like about it? I think, guys, do you think this is genius? I think that this represents so much in terms of like being an artist. I think, first of all, when you're told to be creative on demand, I think there's just a natural pushback from that. And I think he's trying to, with this blank canvas, say, this is what your money gets from me. I'm creative when I want to be creative. I give my art to the world when I want to be. What's that face for? I'm down with this. Talk to me. Am I wrong? Jeff, I know you're about I to I always like a protest. Yes, but I'm here for it. Yeah, I don't, th I. 84 grand for two empty picture frames. Art is it's, weird. Art is subjective. It's meant to make people talk and look at us talking about it. Provocative. Jeff, yeah. how would you feel if you paid an artist 84 grand, they came to your house, they hung two blank We'd picture frames? We'd be doing frames. another story I think today. It's very representative <laughs> of the time we're living in. People want something for nothing and people are opposed to hard work. This is my diagnosis of what's going on in society today. Hard work is kind of on the back seat. Getting something in social points for nothing is what people are looking for with our social media world that we're living in. So I think it's a good representation. Nope. Ooh, wow, I agree with Jeff there. Ooh, was that too deep for you, Al? <laughs> no, I like it. I, just, <laughs> I didn't know I was gonna begin to attack by two battleships on both sides. You and Jeff coming at me, I love it. Did you your battleship? You did. <laughs> <laughs> no, I <laughs>